Hello, so today we are going to see Draggan that is uh, interactive point based manipulation for generative image input. So what it does is you could provide an image and then you have to provide the uh, markers or the pointers. So and then you uh, select the starting point and the ending point and the image will edit as per that point. So here you could see multiple uh, examples they have showcased so here is one of that so here you can see that uh, there's this line and you have selected the initial point and the final point and then you start the drag so as per the number of steps it's going to change the whole image and it is going to have uh, like it is going to move as per that and uh, you could also do is uh, what you, uh, like you could have a mask and then you could uh, do the thing so here I think they are going to showcase that yeah so here you could select that and select the area of the mask and then you could uh, have like you could uh, select the size of the marker as well now you have to just select the pointers and you could uh, start it and you will see that only the area that is present within that uh, particular mask will change uh, the other remaining portion won't be changing so here is the example so uh, recently they have uh, provided the code for that as well so i will be linking that in the comment section so here you could see uh, the whole example uh, they have showcased here as well so uh, it is pretty straight forward uh, to have it on your system uh, but they have also provided uh, like uh, you could uh, directly use it in a collab so i will be going through how you could use it on a collab directly uh, you could uh, like uh, say that uh, they have provided if you want to test how this thing works in real time so you could use uh, hugging face uh, dragon or uh, open x lab so uh, these two uh, are the places that we, there you could uh, directly uh, choose to test uh, so this uh, see you have like you could uh, select the seed and uh, there are like pickles or you could see models uh, for the lion elephant car even they have for the person but i think they have not showcased it here so here you could see all the instructions as per that so here you could see that uh, they have for the person so let's say we want to add a pointer here and we want uh, that dress size to be till uh, this point like this point should meet the red point should meet the blue point so you could just uh, add the points and then you could start it and uh, it is going to take some time and it will uh, you could see we are on the queue so you could see on the left side we are having steps so w plus is uh, a little slow so uh, you could see that the uh, pointer will start moving step by step so it's going to take some time okay so in the collab uh, we could run it with uh, the collab notebook that they have provided but uh, we need to do some changes because uh, recently whatever the changes that they did is actually breaking uh, a lot of things so you could see the number of issues like 83 in uh, like a couple of uh, days so in last uh, week or so so that's why we are going to check out uh, one of the initial commit uh, that they have done uh, regarding this collab notebook so here uh, you could see we have uh, cloned the repo and then we have uh, uh, did a hard reset onto this commit ID so you could uh, I will uh, leave this uh, in the description of this video and then uh, you could see we have uh, changed the uh, to the folder of dragon and then we have uh, installed the requirement uh, file and thereafter we have just run the download model script uh, which is going to download all the required uh, models uh, so in the checkpoints folder you could see uh, that we have all the pickle files uh, for the required for this model 
okay and uh, thereafter we are just going to run this uh, visualizer drag gradio uh, py uh, python uh, file and then you could see that uh, it is running on uh, the public server or your local host so uh, we are going to check with the public uh, url so here you could see that uh, that is available so here you could see uh, select one of the required uh, pre-trained model uh, whatever they have here so you could uh, have uh, for the humans uh, they have i think set up so yeah so here you could get this uh, 512 by 512 uh, pixels of human uh, and then we have uh, like for the lion horse cat and all those things so whatever the models they have trained uh, we have for that and uh, they uh, have not provided anything on like if you could upload the image uh, by ourselves and do the changes uh, for the required file or image so we are going to stick with this for now and uh, there are two settings available w and w plus so w uh, will optimize but uh, uh, it would have a, a like greater influence on the image and it will be faster but uh, w plus will be uh, going with the slower rate but uh, it will have a better result so we are uh, for the sake of this uh, video we are just going to go with w and uh, we could uh, add points here so once uh, the picture loads we could uh, have the pointer on the required let's say we want uh, the lion to look on the left side so we select one of the pointer the starting point and then we have to select uh, the end point so basically what is what it is going to do is it's going to move from uh, the red point to the blue so let's wait for the image to load so now you can see the straight line we could also have the like mask area and all so first of all let's try with this and uh, you uh, once we click on start you could see the number of steps it's going to take to uh, move that point so now you could see uh, the changes that it is going through uh, I have already uh, put up the step sizes pretty large so it is going very fast uh, so you could see like how it's going to change the thing so the whole image uh, changes uh, as per the like the point you have selected okay so that uh, that is how you could uh, do this on the collab notebook